Hello boys and girls, Ant here again. Um, I got myself Defence Grid in the Steam cell the other day, so we're going to play a little Defence Grid. Um, Defence Grid 2, specifically. Let's see, where am I up to? I'm up to here. Let's play one of the later levels and let's see how I do. And uh, Hopefully I don't screw it all up no end. It usually takes about 20 minutes to play through a level. Um, if you haven't seen Defence Grid, it's a tower defence game and it's probably my favourite tower defence game. I've played quite a lot of them. I've just jumped straight in there without looking at what the bonuses are on the buffs. Fantastic. Well done me. Shall I go back and show you them? Let's show you the buffs. Let's uh... Boom. I'll show you the buffs. <laughs> right. Uh, restart. Right, so let's see. Each commander in this one, in the previous game you only had one type of special weapon, it was an auto laser, which is what this one is, but each commander has a different one. Uh, this one overcharges one of your weapons. This one gives you resources. This one's give a temporal blast, which I'm finding that quite useful. Because the thing with the blaster is that it um you don't get any points for it, you don't get any resources. Which isn't helpful. You could kinda do with those. Right, just checking all these have special things. Oh, shrapnel warhead, is that new? A cloud shrapnel unleashed from the point of impact, inflicting damage to double the normal radius. Yeah, that'd be handy. I have been using the chemical tip warhead on that, but yeah. Right, this time we'll jump into the level. Um, I am using the controller to play this, but it's, it plays really well with the controller, to be honest. I've tried with a keyboard and mouse, and while you can move around a lot quicker and all this sort of stuff, I just find it more comfortable with this. Right, let's see. Oh, this is one of those levels with two entrances and two exits, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Let's see. A new thing they've added to this game is you can build like little boosters to put um, towers on, which you can use as a quick way of uh, sort of blocking off exits and stuff like that. But you can also use it to uh, make like platforms. Right, let's see. So, wish I could pause the time first. So they're going to come through here. Right, I need to. I need to slow all sorts of progress down. So I think. I, f I think blue ones usually come first. Right, I wanna. Let's put an inferno on here. I don't know which one's coming first, this is the issue. Yeah, here we go. And we'll get another. Get a laser there. Hopefully, this will be enough for the first batch. And the next one will come through here. That'd be better using the temple thing. Right, they should be able to deal with all this on their own. Yeah. And we'll put a laser here. Quite like having a gun. A gun, an inferno, and a laser at the early part of level, part of level. What's the special thing in this level? Ah, there's a platform I can raise up, which I guess is this one? No, it's this one. Right. Oh, there's more exit. Oh, God. This could be troublesome. Oh, are they going through there? No, they must be coming through here and coming out here. Okay. There's only two. I thought there was four entrances for that start. Right. This. Let's put a meteor on here. And then... How much is it to raise? 100. Uh, I'm in this. I don't know which one it is. <gasps> Eastern quad, northern quad. It's that one over there. That's not good. There you go. That'll be a bit better. Right. He should deal with any stragglers. Which way is this one going to come out? It's the first time I played this level, you might be able to tell. Right, let's just get that there to clean up any any scraps. Upgrade that tower and let them deal with that. Right. And that must be the western quad. So 
Let's get an inferno thing on there. We'll raise that one as well. Let's get them all raised. These meteors are fantastic. You get a bunch of them on there and you'll just, just bombard everything. Right, they're going to come out this side. Let's give them a laser. Probably not the best thing to use, but, you know, I'm winging it. Best thing to do is get a nice strong defence at the start, really. Hmm. Oh, they have to come all the way back as well. Right. I want to get a, a temporal one around here. And we'll do the same up here somewhere. Here? That's probably the better place to have a temporal one, but I want to need all the other weapons. Yeah, so they've got to come back, haven't they? Let's, uh... Concussion thing here as well. Real? Do you have any memories of raspberry? Anything? I know it sounds insane, but if we have similar memories, it could be a sign of something. No, sorry. I wish I did. <laughs> Nothing. No, I'm only to disclose level seven. Why is there a shield there? Like that in the event of an alien what is that? And as that hasn't happened yet, is that a new thing? It has happened. Now is in fact the very time to divulge such information. Hmm, I don't know what that is. About what? That looks like a new thing. The raspberries. It's gone now. Why right? are you talking about food when we're at war? Right. Real? Yeah, they're dealing with all that. I've not got a particularly good defence going on here, have I? Right. Upgrade that bugger. We've got enough for a concussion to go in here. Because these sort of things, when you have those little outcrops like that, chucking a, a concussion weapon on there is good. Let's get another meteor though. Let's have multiple meteors. Oh, the laser can get up there. That's handy. Place to put a concussion thing. And if I'm slowing down here, they'll be getting bombarded by these. So I'll get a temple thing on there soon. What's the range on that? Not long enough. That needs an upgrade though. Oh god, I'm letting these get way too close. <laughs> Get some missile coverage. Missiles are great for destroying things, but yeah, not the fastest firing. Definitely not getting the right sort of towers out there. I think I might need to replay this level. Fletcher, there's something up with Sakara. I agree, she can be a little difficult, but I think her routines are in the right place. She doesn't strike you as having an agenda? Yes, she wants us to return her to her home. But she's also helping to kill Get aliens one and save humanity. I want to upgrade that one, I've got 300. Because you slow enemies down around here. These things can do a lot of damage, but you kind of need the enemies to slow down through them. Right. Lots of stuff going on. Let's slow all these down. Oh, have I got the laser? No, I've got the auto laser. I thought I selected the temporal thing at the start. Nah. This is amateur hour. <laughs> right. Let's get some upgrades going. Upgrade that 
upgrade that. Uh oh. That's not good. See, they're carrying little pods back with them. So now they're going to start heading back. And this dude's got pods. He's got the cores. Not the Irish pop band, the cores either. Let's see. They're not going to destroy that. I'm going to lose some cores. Oh dear. What an amateur. Needs to be dealing better damage at the start. Not doing very good at all. Usually, sometimes it'll take me like two runs to do a level and I'll figure out the best way of handling it, but this isn't the best way of handling it at all. This is kind of terrible. Right. I haven't got any cannons going on. So let's get some, some cannon coverage. Need 200. Oh, that's said. Thank goodness we've regained the core. Yeah, we've lost two. It's outrageous. Can't be having that. Need to be upgrading more stuff. Like that thing, not doing a particularly massive range of slowdown right now. <clears throat> and this thing's on its way back, and it's like barely been damaged. Oh dear. Is that the stealthy ones? Yeah, they only get attacked when they're near other towers. Right. Let's get a put a boost tower here and I'll build something on that anything in its range will be visible if I use the uh, overcharge skill so let's chuck a cannon so we've got good attack range and then I need the disruptor when he gets to 200 there you go great there's a plane flying over that'll get right in the mic I know which one of these quadrants is which now. Couldn't really tell before. <laughs> Didn't know which way it considered north. Right. Oh, that one's almost done. Yes, we saved those cores. Right. Upgrade. Upgrade, because they've got a lot of range. And that can't be upgraded yet. Can that? Right. That's reaching there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Temporal things are real. Just they slow down things quite a lot, and it's real handy to have one. Sort of fairly early on when you've got your first lot of towers, so they can start, you know, really Once slowing stuff down. We must investigate the raspberry memories. I believe they may hold the key to General Fletcher's obsessed with raspberries. What? That's a thing from the first game. Something. I'm not sure what, but this cannot be. Not what this is all about. The floating shield. That's the shield icon. Be, because that's the definition of coincidence. Now General Kai is making the most sense. Can we focus on today's that? problem? Did you see that shield carrying alien? Looks like it drops ah. the shield where it dies, and that shield protects the other aliens that walk under it. I've seen those before. They do an excellent job protecting the aliens. Ah, right. Then let's destroy them. Raspberry's on hold for now. If I can't destroy the shield thing it drops. That's, that's a bit harsh. Alright. Getting further on there. I haven't got any Tesla coils yet, have I? So let's get a Tesla coil in. These will deal with shields. 
So yeah, that'd be a good idea. We'll get a Let's chuck a Tesla. Where else? Put one down the bottom, really, don't I? Yeah, that'll do. That'll hit the shield ones with lightning and knock their shields out. And hopefully, I imagine it will deal with the ones that get dropped behind. That's a new thing on me, that. Boost my offense a fair bit. I like cannons. Mm -hmm. I'm letting too many of the enemies get back here, but not exactly uh, doing the damage, am I? Didn't know how it was going to play out at the start. These two lane ones are always tricky. We can if it had some sort of indicator to which one's definitely coming first. Ugh. Right. I'm getting there though. These things are dying gradually. It's the intention, isn't it? Alright, can this be upgraded? No, need 500, almost there. Probably going about this entirely wrong. You probably see a video on I'm someone doing this level with like two units. I've seen that sort of thing before. People are just showing off. Oh, sorry for sniffing there. Got a bit of gold. Alright. Can we kill them before they get back? <laughs> yes, just. Alright, I do have my orbital laser strike. But, yeah, cannon should be able to deal with them. Uh maybe not. <laughs> They're getting out. Blow them up. <laughs> Blow up everyone. <laughs> Let's keep these upgrades coming. How should we upgrade that one? 350. Almost there. Boom. Right. Now both my starting areas are pretty. Well, a bit tougher anyway. These guys can start being upgraded. I'm spending all my monies. There's one level earlier, there's another level like this where it splits in, where it's got two tracks, and God, I struggled with that one. I could finish it, but I couldn't do it with um, getting a medal. So I don't think I'm going to get a medal on this one. I've lost five cores, which is awful. Most of the levels I've managed to gold first time. Trust the one I record to be tricky. I have no idea what this level is going to be like. Oh, that's not good. That thing's going to explode, isn't it? Right before this thing gets here. Oh, heck. Ish. Yeah, those are going to outrun it. That's okay. Right. Uh, temporal one. And another concussion. We want to mimic. Oh, I've already got one down there like that anyway, haven't I? Right, let's upgrade that inferno. And, uh, let's get a laser in there. And a missile launcher. I've got lots of, lots of money now. Let's make this more powerful so it can do a bit more damage. To upgrade that, no. Nope. Yeah, those shield things are still there, they deteriorate though, that's a good thing. Still not enough, I need 600. I 
I'm handling it. It's uh, being taken care of. <laughs> that will be no trouble to kill. This one's still got a fair bit of health left, though. I should really be building along here. I don't want my rear defence to be suffering. Let's get a Tesla in there. Uh, uh, Tesla. The blue and orange colours you see on the floor is the heat map. That tells me where most of the damage has been dealt. So, I say if I get a Tesla in here. And. Just keep a simple gun in there. Trying to make this a choke point. Let's get a laser on here as well. Keep that damage coming. Right, does that destroy the shields after they've been dropped? Can't tell it's not doing much damage. Brilliant. Right. It's a good job this is one that comes back. This level could have easily been one where they just go straight out on this design. Right. I'm going to try to get everything upgraded to a yellow status. To yellow power as it were. Because I don't want to mess up this first, this episode I do. Just this one random me going, hey this is what I'm playing right now, check it out, I'm doing fine, and then I'll just fuck it up no end. <laughs> Oh, yeah, destroyed something big there. That'll let me upgrade quickly. Right. Uh, let's get that upgraded. I think the Tesla coils are destroying the shield pods that drop behind. So that's good. See that? They're destroying them all there. That's what I wanted. Alright. <coughs> Get another cannon on here. We'll upgrade it almost straight away. That's better. We've recovered a core. <laughs> right. This is going much better. This is what I should have done from the start. I should have done this at the start. <laughs> is that a turtle? I think that is, isn't it? Yeah, these things, when they blow up, they drop troops behind, which is um, mildly inconvenient. There you go. Don't always know what they're going to be as well. It's three hundred. I'm getting there, only three waves left to go, and I've almost hit the medal point, so that's good. <laughs> so I'm going to get a bronze medal at least. No, uh, what's that one? That's a cannon, isn't it? I haven't got enough to upgrade that either. I haven't got enough of that. <coughs> Upgrades are usually better than buying new weapons, really. Especially if you've got a nice pack like that, it intensifies how much damage you're doing. Like, you can see that most of the kills are on those areas. If you go over one vehicle, one object you can see who's doing the most kills which is here it's uh, the concussion thing like I said they're good when you slow things down <laughs> it's 
should be able to take these out on the way back. Yep, slow that down. There you go. Yep, gone through the bronze point now. So at least I got a bronze medal out of this on my first run. And I lost five cores. It's not even on the hard difficulty. I do love this game. The first game in this series I played to death. They gave away free on Xbox Live and I kind of felt guilty that I didn't pay for it because, you know, it's free with gold. Because <laughs> I played it so much. Probably the most played game of any on Xbox Live Gold. I love the sound of cannons in the morning. Yep. Oh, we can always hit the silver. Alright. They're not going to make it that far. No, the Tesla isn't destroying them. I thought maybe it would be. But no, I'm just got to wait for them to die out. Hmm. This is more like it. Everyone's dying now. I can put down the controller. I think that's the last one there. Nope, there's more bad guys coming. It's probably going to send the boss, isn't it? And there's still shield sitting here. Well, I need to put something here, don't I? Uh, let's have... Ah, let's just put a gun in. Why not? Keep it simple. <laughs> My guns have a mod to them so that they do... Um, shield damage. Can I hit the gold? Look at that. Maybe this wasn't as terrible as I thought I was doing. I mean, it's pretty terrible, but... There we go. There's a lot of bad guys coming through, though. Let's see. Gradually going up the point scale, so what's in the top right corner. So just press left to change the graph, but it never happens. There you go, this is this is what the concussion's good at. Packs of enemies. Just knocking them out. Sort of. <laughs> You've got plenty of resources left over as well for a bit of a bonus. It little bumped up the graphics a little bit from the previous game as well. Well, I played the previous one on Xbox 360. But um, yeah, it's nice and crisp. There's also a level creator in here. And you can um, apparently sell your creations to other players. You submit them to um, Hidden Path and I think they approve them. Something like that. I might try making one one day when I actually uh, feel confident. It'd probably be terrible. Probably shaped like a dick, to be honest. Yeah, these things are dead. Get a good look at them. Oh, well that one's dead. You can bring up the de details here. It's a Juggernaut. Juggernaut is slow, but it's the strongest alien threat. Pretty sure there's something other than that. I think they get shields later as well. Oh, that one's dead. There's a core there that's behind him. <laughs> I've had it before where there's um, enemies that go so slow, the cores that are coming behind walk up to them and hit them and they go back. He's picked up his cores though, he's got them on his head. Look at that. Look at him with his silly cores on his head. Ah, he's dead. Excellent work, Commander. Not easy, but ah, wouldn't call it excellent. Is. Passable. Uh, How soon until tolerable. We, leave for we should do what's best for our passengers, Zakara. You know that. Simon, what does it matter which planet we save first? Oh, I've got an achievement, a lead head. And inflict uh, unlocked if chemical tip warhead inflicts sixty percent additional damage over time to targets with a substance so easy to wear them. That's quite cool. That'd be quite handy, that's on the missile launcher, isn't it? Focus on finding a place for our human passengers. Majin must be explored before we can go to Tiket. By the commander's leave, so be it. This Raspberry puzzle must be solved somewhere though, and soon. Yeah, he's still talking I about raspberries. Only one person would dare give him the raspberry. And that's Lone Star. Well, that's my rather dismal attempt at playing Defense Grid 2 for today. 
thought I'd share it with you. I like the game. It doesn't seem to um, be as popular as it deserves to be, I think. I think it needs a bit more... More people need to play it. It's good. It's fun. I like it. I like tower defence games. I like good tower defence games. There's a lot of ropey ones out there. Um, but yeah. I'm going to be probably not doing another video before Christmas because I don't really have much time. I've got to watch a film and write a review for it and get that posted and ready done Christmas Eve so it'll be posted on Film Dump on Christmas Day. Um, I've had this film planned for ages. It's one I wanted to review last year but I couldn't because it wasn't on telly and I didn't have a copy of it. But I've got a copy now. I've had it stored for a year. Um, but yeah, until next time I see you, probably be after Christmas. Or, oh, well, I won't see you. I can't see you. I'm rambling. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals.